Readers rejoice. Best-selling author Daniel Silva is back with his 25th book. Daniel joins us now to discuss Portrait of an Unknown Woman. Hi, Daniel. Hi. How are you, Elsa? I am doing well. I'm happy to have you here. So tell us Thanks. about this inspiration behind your newest book. Uh, the inspiration for the novel was a, a art forgery scandal uh, that emerged in France a few years ago. And what, what set this scandal apart from the previous big art forgery scandals that we've had was the nature of the paintings involved. Um, most art forgers forge 20th century works for the simple reason that they're, that they're easier to forge and many of the paintings are quite valuable. This art forger was forging 400 and 500 year old um, uh, old master paintings and he could paint um, like the greatest Dutch and German and Italian old masters who ever lived. He, this man could paint exactly like them and, and do it in a way that fooled the very best eyes in, in, the, in the art world, including at, at the Louvre. And I just had to, to write about the, that, that, that in, in, a, in a fictionalized way. Um, and that served as the, as the inspiration for Portrait of an Unknown Woman. Sounds interesting. And you've spent a lot of time with Gabriel over the years. What I is sure your have. favorite thing about him? Um, well, my, my favorite thing about him um, is his, his sense of humor, his humanity, his um, kindness. Um, yes, he can be violent when necessary, um, but he is one of these people um, who if, 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 if something is just a, if a, a little crooked or a little off, he's got to fix things. And what he, what he does is, is, is um, you know, make, make situations right. Um, and it's just part of his nature. Um, and he's a, such a gifted, unbelievably gifted artist and restorer. He's got a sort of a magical quality about him. Um, and he is just a joy to work with. Sounds like a lot of research went into this book. What would you say is the most interesting or surprising thing that you learned during that process? Uh, you know, I have always been fascinated with forgery um, and how forgers go about their business. And so I really spent a lot of time just researching how to forge a painting. I know it sounds crazy, but how do you actually do it? And what are their techniques for aging a painting? Um, and, and, you know, the, I guess the most interesting thing that I learned about, about art forgery is that, is that um, in order to really, really get it right, you have to become the artist that you are attempting to forge. If you're at all tentative, um, expert eyes are going to be able to detect that those aren't the right kind of brush strokes. You must really inhabit the soul of that artist. And that is something that I, I show um, on the pages of this novel. All right, and where can we go to learn more? <laughs> well, you can, um, my uh, website, uh, danielsilvabooks.com, has a, a, a tremendous amount of information on it. I'm not terribly, terribly active on social media, but my Twitter feed is kind of interesting. Um, and the best thing you can do is just is, is read the books, and you can, um, you know, pick them up at, at wherever fine books are sold, and, and online, of course, at Amazon. Daniel Silva, thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.